the the trends here may be changing uh, because President Trump, former President Trump, has been leading uh, national poll after national poll over President Biden for the last couple of weeks, but not in this one. And maybe it's an outlier, maybe it's not, but Quinnipiac has Biden up on Trump. Six points, 50 to 44. That is Peter Ducey on Fox News reporting the latest presidential poll. He told the team at Fox and Friends the Biden lead could signal a new trend. According to the Quinnipiac survey, Biden is up six, which is outside the poll's margin of error. And the polling by Quinnipiac is widely respected, thus the mention on Fox, which normally avoids bad news about Republicans. So what is driving the change in the presidential race? Well, Peter Ducey offered his theory. The Biden team has been trying to pivot to general election mode. They've been focusing on abortion access and on union jobs. And the Trump team has spent the last week or so dealing with his legal issues. This poll does have Haley doing better against Biden than Trump. She has got him, according to Quinnipiac, by 5, 47 to 42 nationally. But this is a matchup that's unlikely to happen based on current polling that puts Trump way ahead of her in primary states that she needs at the moment. Haley keeps reminding Republican voters that she fares better than Trump in a general election matchup against Biden, but that seems to be water under the bridge given the way the GOP primaries are going. There is every indication that Donald Trump is going to win the Republican presidential nomination, so the matchup numbers between Trump and Biden are significant. Now, while conservative reporters like Ducey are pointing to the Biden pivot and Trump's legal problems, there is another issue that may also be moving poll numbers, especially with independent and moderate voters. And that is the Republican Party and MAGA extremism. Over the past few weeks, MAGA world has been lashing out at singer Taylor Swift. Swift, who has urged younger people to vote, is not very political, but some conservatives are convinced she's an agent of the Biden campaign, is dating an NFL football player as part of that scheme, and that the NFL is working to help Swift's boyfriend and keep them in the news in order to help Biden defeat Trump. Yes, the right-wing conspiracy nuts believe the NFL is rigging games to help Travis Kelsey, Taylor Swift, and somehow Joe Biden. It's Looney Tunes, but it's making Trump and his supporters look even more extreme and unhinged. I think most of these people are sexually inadequate, and they go for all this crazy stuff. And I don't think, and it's nothing strategic about something not stupid. It's, it's just real stupidity to, to believe something like that. And she seems to me, I don't know, I'm not very familiar with her, her generation. She seems like a, a, a really nice person, kind of well, well raised and, and, you know, gives the people at work for like $100,000 bonuses. What's that not to like about Miss Swift? I have no idea. I don't, I don't get the memo. Taylor Swift endorsed Joe Biden in 2020, but has not weighed in on the 2024 race. She is largely seen, especially by moderates and independents in America, as nonpartisan. Plus, Swift is extremely popular with women. So the Trump world attacks in Swift are arguably a turnoff to women. And the latest polling shows that President Biden in the past month has doubled his support among women voters and now leads Trump in that demographic by 22 points. In other words, there is a strong argument that the right-wing conspiracy theories have had an impact on the 2024 race and that it has been Swift. Pardon the wordplay. Anyway, as James Carville and others have noted about the Trump supporters, it is massively entertaining to watch people as stupid as the MAGA morons go public. And it's not about to go away. Taylor Swift's boyfriend, Travis Kelsey, and the Kelsey teammates on the Kansas City Chiefs will play the San Francisco 49ers in the Super Bowl in Las Vegas. Swift will be touring just before then in Japan, but is expected to fly back for the big game. So there will be more attention on her and Travis Kelsey and more opportunities for conservatives to lose their minds, turn off more voters, and help Joe Biden. By the way, Donald Trump seems to be going berserk over all the legal humiliations that keep piling up against him. Check out that video in the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.